First up here, we have this um, vintage uh, money box, safety box stack. So I just got this one, um, I think it was last week, and it fits in here perfectly. This one has J.H. Lewis on one side and C.L. Lewis is stamped on the other side. But these you can see from the side, they stack wonderfully. And from the front, you can see that they stack wonderfully as well. So I'm selling the stack um, and they are $55. So $55 for the stack. Now they are not all in perfect condition. This one has a spot cut out where you can add change. This one, the hinge is broken, so the lid just sits on there, um, but they still look super good um, stacked. So $55 for the stack. And then someone has already made this bike basket um, Christmas-ish by painting it red. Um, so you could attach it to your bike, or you could just use it as is. It is $40. Um, set it on the ground, put your magazines in it by your uh, chair or couch. Um, you can roll up some small um, quilts or quilt tops and put in it. You can set some Crocs in it and then use it as a vase. Um, so many options on different things that you can do with this. You could also put this over your railing on your porch and use it as a basket that way. So $40 on our red um, bike basket. Okay, then I have two of these um, burlap candy canes, and this is a DIY project that I did last year. There are actually wooden um, canes, vintage canes, antique canes, underneath the burlap. So um, this was just a project where I wrapped them with burlap. So $20 on our burlap wrapped vintage candy canes or canes that are now candy canes and they are $20 each. So you could say taller or shorter if you have a preference. The shorter one you can see the red stripes are a little bit tighter, um, closer together than the um, taller candy cane. Okay, then we have this fun little vintage pick of um, apples, it looks like, and this looks like popcorn to me. I'm sure it is not officially popcorn, um, but it definitely kind of looks like that. So $5 on our little plastic uh, pick of apples and popcorn. Okay, then we've got our blue metal telephone that doesn't have the um, handheld piece for $25. Still super cute and would look great with the collection of telephones. You could even use a command strip and hang this on the wall and you can play with it. So $25 on our phone. Okay, then over on Facebook for 25 Days of Christmas, we've been doing different projects and filling containers was my project for Sunday. So this is actually a silver uh, trophy here. You got the state of Missouri cut out there and a 1973 NHSA. Um, but I put a vintage um, little floral arrangement inside it. And so I'm selling it as a one piece for $20. So $20 on our holiday vintage silver filled container. And it looks good from all sides. So $20 on that. Okay, then we've got $10 on three roadside maps. So these are three that are Kansas, Nebraska um, maps. And so if you are from there or know somebody there, you could um, gift them. You also have people who collect the gas stations. So we've got Sinclair Co-op and MFA Oil. And then there's another group of people who collect roadmaps for the artwork. So 
um, some great artwork on those as well. And then you can repurpose the maps about a million different ways. So $10 on our Kansas, Nebraska um, bundle of road maps. And then the other bundle of road maps that I have is Wisconsin. And you've got standard DX and this one doesn't look like it has a gas station as it's um, sponsor, provider, maker, whatever you would call it, but three of these for $10 as well. So this would be a fun gift for somebody who is from Wisconsin. Okay, then we have $25 on this little wooden horse is what I think it is. And I'm gonna go close in here on the camera. So it's got leather ears. Um, it doesn't look like, well, never mind, there is a hole. So there probably was a spot for um, a tail, but it's its feet move and they can move separately. Um, it's very flat footed, it's wooden. Um, it's just very primitive. I would say a piece of folk art and it is $25 on our wooden horse. Okay, then we have $9 on our old um, coat hooks. So there's two of them that are pretty silver. We've got one that's pretty brass, and then this one is, looks like it was painted black at one time. So they all have functioning screws on them. You could just add them to any kind of board, um, a level, um, anything with wood on it, a spindle, and use these. If you wanted them to match, you could just spray paint them. So they sell metallic spray paint, or you could do white or black or something like that as well. So uh, four of them, $12 for our hooks. Okay, then we have <clears throat> $8 on our wooden blocks that say Mary. So Instagram, it really looks like it's light lighting it out so you can't see it very well. It's too bright. So $8 on our wooden Mary. And then obviously you can try and spell or showcase different things um, the rest of the year. <clears throat> and then this time, if you want Mary, you're gonna say number two. And this one is $8. This one is number two. $8 on it. When I get done here, I go over and put everything into stories. And one of the things that I have that I'm not gonna share, but I'm going to put in stories are a bunch of blocks that are 25, two and five. Um, so go over to stories when we get done and check for that. That way you can I can lay them out and you can easily pick which combination you want. Okay, so next up we have this iron and it is $15. It's got my favorite color on the wood handle, this kind of uh, green, and it's just a little cute guy. Pretty small for $15, so 15 on the iron. Okay, then we have $20 on our turkey planter. So you could roll up some napkins, you could put some feathers in there, you could <clears throat> add a succulent or some kind of plant, but he's mainly navy and cream. There is a little bit of red here that would have been on um, the bottom of the turkey, and it is unmarked. So unmarked turkey planter for $20. Okay, $25 on this crocheted thimble holder. I don't understand why thimble holders were so elaborate, nor like um, pin cushions. If you saw the pin cushion I did on my What Is It Wednesday, um, I don't remember if it was last week or when it was, but this has little ribbons. There is a thimble in there. It's got the little like 
I would what would you call these sachets hanging down um, and then this is the back side so very pretty very dainty uh, $25 on our thimble holder Okay, then we have this green enamel dipper for $15. This one has a very short handle. I had a yellow one a while back with a handle that was probably about twice as long as that. But again, green, cute. You could put a bottle brush tree in this for uh, Christmas time. You could put an egg in it for Easter or just hang it on the wall. And this one is stamped made in Yugoslavia and it has a number two there. And our little enamel dipper is $15. Okay, then we'll see. I'm probably just going to keep these on a book. There's three little pixie elves for $15. I do not think that they go together at all. I'm just selling them as a bundle because she has hair and um, like skin tone face where the rest of them, the face is unpainted. Um, the red one here does have some broken spots and then someone has filled him in, um, you know, painted those broken spots red so they don't stand out as much. And then the girl that's blue, um, they must do the whole face blue and then come back and paint her face because where the skin color is coming off um it's now blue but only the red one is broken so 15 dollars for our three little pixie elves And I totally did that wrong. So that it says $45, not $15. So probably everybody was jumping on those elves. So the three elves, my mistake is $45, not $15. I can't read my own writing. Okay, then we're going to do some music books. And we've got Renaissance to Baroque for $5. Most of these music books are soft um, covered, but you could still totally repurpose the music sheets and do other things with them. You also have this one that's red. This would be great for a Christmas display. So $5 on that one and at least do a shortened version of the name so I know which book you want. We've got Hymn of Praise for $5. Again, another softback. Um, book you can I mean these are old but you can also tea stain them and make them look even more um, aged and discolored five dollars on mass in G I think it's G anthology of Italian song is five dollars another softback School and gymnasium marches. So this one would be fun in like a band um, display or back to school display. $5 on that one. America's Song Kit. This one would be great in your 4th of July display. Again, soft back. And that cover is ripped. Definitely now that I just flicked it. But I think it must have been ripped anyway. $5 on that one. We've got Popular Home Craft, the Home Workshop Magazine, 1937. And this one is $5. We've got a tool advertisement on the back, which that's a lot of times some of the neatest stuff is just the old advertising. Repair jobs around the home. And then it's got some home craft projects. And then let me double check what this is. Okay, we're gonna do $5 on the Wonder World. This one has a lot of good pictures in it. it says the Human Interest Library. And 
Instagram is the light is so bad but you've got pictures and all sorts of things in the wonder world for five dollars okay then we have fifteen dollars on this huge uh, horseshoe magnet um, it looks like it's just black with some paint chipped off of it and it is very thick so probably an inch thick fifteen dollars on our magnet okay then we have a little nutmeg grater for ten dollars it can hang on the wall it has the lid in there so you can put the lid up and have um, some plant air plant or something growing out of it if you want to repurpose it there is no bottom so you can't hold put any matches in there or anything Okay, this is a new greenery pick and it is $6. I do have more than one of these. If this is something that you would like, you can just put how many you want, um, but it is $6. And these are nice because you can put them into a small little vase or you can also um, lay these sideways and tuck them in as filler on things. And remember, you can always bend the stems um, so that it will fit, um, you know, inside something. So doing this would be a cute little option. So $6 on our smaller pick. This is $15 and it's a Salada T USA. So stamped Salada T USA on the bottom. It's kind of a tur light turquoise color. Um, there is a little bit of chipping here on the spout, and I would say there's a chip right here. But super cute color. You could put a little bottle brush tree in it, put some greenery in it. You could do a little, um, fill it as a container for a gift with some little uh, tea bags or tea things. Okay, then we have some reproduction uh, little Christmas trees here for $15. So they are on what I call faux spools. They're not really an old spool. And then these I think look like yo-yos that you stitch, like quilters would stitch. Um, so they have used that with some um, green plaid and uh, fabric and then some metal stars. So the pair of trees for $15. Okay, next up we have two little um, like fabric uh, poinsettia candle rings and it's $5 for the pair. So you can use them around a candle um, I, you can see that I had um, a paper clip here, which is twisted on something, but I like to hang things with a paper clip. I think it just makes it easier and is convenient. Everybody has paper clips lying around. So $5 on our poinsettia candle rings. Okay, then we have a little tote here for $30. It's a very uh, small, lightweight, decorative, probably pine, um, but this is nice and shallow, so it would be really great. You could put some of that green yarn I'm always talking about or tinsel and uh, display your vintage ornaments in here, and then you can use it year-round, obviously, as well, and just change it out. A good size for your kitchen counter. There is, I'll point out, a little uh, chipped um off a spot here on this middle middle piece of wood so thirty dollars on our tote okay then we have um the virgin mary here on um an arched wooden piece a little stand it does have um, a piece here that it's ready to hang, which is always convenient. Just need a little nail. I love the color and patina on her, and it's $15. Okay, 
And then kind of sticking with our religious theme, we have $15 on Jesus. I do have one more of these left. Um, I think they look nice kind of displayed in a collection. You can also stick it in a picture or something and have it um, displayed that way versus hanging it on the wall. But $15 for Jesus on the cross and he is metal. Okay, then we have our scotch tape for $10. It's a nice metal tin. The coloring is perfect for Christmas. And then there, the tape is actually in here. It looks like it has never been used other than it's dusty, which I don't think that necessarily matters, but the tin is super cute. So $10 on our scotch tape tin. Okay, some rusty crusty stuff. We've got $5 on this curling iron. Um, I'm guessing this is an end and it would have had some wood um, in here. Otherwise, it just doesn't seem very big. Um, but you could repurpose this and use it as like a clip to um, oh, display something that was harder and on, on cardstock. Clip it in there. You can hang this on the wall. $5 on our little curler. Then we have some kind of wrench, I think. It is rusty crusty. You can spray it with a clear coat, um, but this would be a great embellishment. You could put it on a drawer front. You could put it on a door and kind of use it as a door plate and then put your handle, um, screw your handle in, you know, through the holes. So a few options on how to repurpose that for $5. Then we have a wrench, some kind of special contraption when you need to get into a tight corner, I guess. $5 on that. Then we have a pink piece, so make sure you say pink. Again, rusty crusty, but it, um, spraying a clear coat on it will clean it up a little bit. $5 on it. You could use like a thick washer and screw it into a board and then see it will hang off the door and you could use this as a pull, as a handle. Um, you, depending on how you could uh, 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 adhere it, you could maybe put your paper towel roll on it, drape a towel over it. So $5 on our pink piece. Then we have a Union Tool Ruler. This says Orange Mass, so it must be Orange, Massachusetts, made in the United States. So the advertising is just printed on here, really small. And this metal ruler is $10. So again, a good thing to attach to something and have some embellishment. Okay, we've got another stirrup. This one is $15. It does have like leather wrapped here on the bottom where your foot would go. You can take some twine and hang this on the wall and use this uh, to drape your hand towel. It will stand up. You can put a little bottle brush tree or a little Santa in here and kind of, um, you know, use this just to accentuate that. So lots of options on repurposing a stirrup and it is $15. Okay, then we have $5 on our bottle brush tree and it just has a cork as the base. $5 on the bottle brush tree. Then we have $5 on our old um, wooden uh, door stopper. So this would be screwed into your baseboards so that your door handle doesn't go through your wall. $5 on that. And you can totally repurpose that however you want. Okay, then we have a pair of green glass bowls for $30. So you could use these or repurpose these. Put some glittery ornaments in there, put some tinsel, um, make it the base of a bottle brush tree or any kind of tree. 
Um, put some spindles in there, lots of options. So a pair of green bowls for $30. And then we've got some more of those little bisque dolls. This one looks like it would um, hang on something, like maybe hang over a bowl, the lip on a bowl, um, maybe a picture frame, probably just depends on what it will fit on. So you've got this little pair um, here for $15. Our little boy and girl on the little, what, swing bench. $15 on them. And then we've got another bisque doll. This looks like uh, a kid preacher. I don't know. $15 on him. He just cracks me up with his eyes. He's reading a book there. And it's got good chippy paint on it. But $15 on our little preacher, we're going to call him. And then our last little bisque doll is like a baby doll. And it actually has some kind of marking. Oh, it says Japan, I can't read. So kind of on his butt, he is stamped Japan. And he has elastic there in his legs. And he is, you know, it's stretching out a little bit but cute little baby here, little bisque doll. So there's without me holding his legs, you can see the elastic is getting stretched out. So 15 on our little baby. Okay, then we have six, um, I'm gonna call them aluminum numbers. They've obviously been hammered on to something um, and you could easily put them on a drawer or a crate to embellish. So we've got six of them for $10. So we've got a three, zero, K, eight, seven, and nine, I think, and nine. So six of these little um, aluminum numbers and letter, I guess, for $10. Great for embellishing on your drawers and crates. Okay, next up we have uh, something silver. Barber Silver Co. is what it looks like. 2420 on our stamped bottom here. It is $25. This one's uh, pretty heavy. It's got some good tarnished on it. Um, could be a sugar bowl, could maybe be a biscuit bowl. It seems kind of little, um, but you can take the lid off. You can put a bottle brush tree in there, um, fill it with greenery, um, leave it like this. I just, I really love the tarnished silver stuff. So $25 on our sugar. Okay, then we have a couple of posts. These are pretty much the same height, although they are not the same, um, what do you call it? Carving, what word am I looking for? Um, they're not turned the same, so they have different grooves in them. And then this one has like, I don't even know what that is. It's like, um, cement, dried caulking. I don't know what that is, but I just kind of left it there. I could see painting these and distressing them. Um, they are $20 each. You can use them as a riser. You can set a candle on them. You could E6000 a plate on top and make yourself a platter, a raised, a raised platter. So $20 each on our post. So this one can be the straighter one, this one can be the curvier one, or however you want to um, explain to me which one you want, but they are $20 each. Okay, next up for $125, we have this Structo um, dump truck. It is, I should have looked up my terminology before I hopped on here, but it's like a hydraulic, I think. 
It is green and orange. You can see the sticker on the door still really well on both doors. It is missing one of the lights. And we'll see if I can pull this up by myself. So it says Structo Fireball Motor on the inside. And this has hydraulic operated. And then let's see. I push that lever, then the truck will go up. And by lever, this is what I pushed. All right, nice and big. This would look great on the centerpiece of your table, filled with packages or candles and greenery or bottle brush trees, but 125 on our Structo truck. Okay, then I have a couple of little uh, poison bottles, and whatever this word is, is sty strychnine something sulfate. When I Googled it, guess what it is? It's like gopher poison or something. I don't know why gopher stuck in my mind, but um, the bottle acts like you can take it with a prescription, but when it said it kills gophers, I don't think that that would be recommended. Um, so we've got $10 each on these two bottles with the poison in them and they are the same, and there is some of the powder inside them. Okay, then we have a little aluminum Christmas tree mold for $5. This would be one that would be fun to make into an ornament. You could do a whole little miniature scene inside the mold, so $5 on that. Then for $20, we have this perpetual calendar um, wheel. It's metal. It is missing um, its parts, but you can see here it talks about, um, gives you directions on finding the year, the letter of the year, and the number of the month or something like that, and um, telling you red months are leap years, and it goes through and it gives you an explanation on how to read it, but this would be something fun. You could attach to another piece because you've got a hole here. Hang it on the wall. So $20 on our perpetual calendar. I don't know if it's a 40 year, what it's considered. I don't know. One thing I looked up was calling one similar to that a 40 year um, perpetual calendar. Okay, next up we have Home for Christmas. This is just an empty album. There is no record. I just liked the scenery, um, the image on the album. So I thought it would be cute uh, for you to just put out for display. So $5 on our Christmas album cover. Okay, then we have some old um, boxes. There's 10 of these for $5. So um, I don't know about you, but I can remember making these um, out of like old Christmas cards where you make a little box and they're just empty, but these are fun. You can throw into a bowl or a candy dish. Um, and these are, that one's got some tape on it, but these are just old Christmas cards turned into little boxes or packages. You could also put some stakes on these and stab them and put them into some of your greenery. So 10 boxes, $5. Okay, then for $3, we have some um, bows, some little teeny tiny miniature bows. Again, good if you like to do miniatures or maybe you have a small tree and you can twist these little bows onto the branches. 
And then we have these plastic, these are plastic um, ornaments. They're different ones with angels, a wreath, um, a little girl praying, Santa. There are 12 of them for $8. 12 of them for $8. Here's a little drummer boy. So 12 of the faux mercury glasses for $8. Okay, next up, this is made in England for $35 an old spittoon, but I grabbed this because this would make a perfect Christmas tree base. Um, so if you have one that has a metal stand, um, it's probably not gonna fit in here, but you can wedge, um, take some rocks even out of your driveway and put in there and then stab the um, trunk of the tree down in there and you have a unique uh, base. This would be good too to fill with pipes and some tobacco products for your tobacco collector. And $35 on our spittoon. Then this shelf kind of matches the wood um, cut out on that wooden tote that we had. I don't know if this is a shelf for um, a clock, but it's a very pretty and ornate. And pretty thin. It is $35. $35 on our shelf. And then if you have a train lover in your family or doing um, a kid's room that loves trains, this would be a great picture for that. It's $25. It says American Express train, and I really like the subtle colors on it. And there is the back. So $25 on our train picture. Now hopefully that doesn't fall over on us. Okay, so we've got four uh, spindles here for $20. And these spindles have been cut, so they have a thicker base. And then the cut part on top, you could turn these into ornaments. You can um, put them in a bucket or a pitcher, either with the bigger side down or the smaller side down, um, and show off your spindles that way. You can repurpose them and just hang them on the wall as is or use it as a towel bar. So you're getting four of them for $20. Okay, then we have a stoneware pitcher for $20. This one has kind of an unglazed portion here towards the bottom. Um, there is no um, lid. You can see there's holes here from the tea kettle and it's notched here, that is not broken. That's just a notch from the lid. So this would look great filled with some greenery. $20 on our pitcher. Okay, then we have some horns. There are four of them for $25. I have one that's big and then the other three are smaller. So you're getting four of them for $25. So these are great um, to put on your tree, to work into some of your little vignettes. If you like creating things, you can put them on um, a wreath or use it by itself as a wreath as well. So you're getting the four horns for $25. Okay, another great thing for Christmas, especially because of the color, you've got red and green. This is a pretty big one. It's uh, eight pounds. 
and it is $15. So $15 on our pure lard tin. You could set this on your fridge, on the counter with some of your utensils. Put a tring in it on the center of your table. So $15 on our pure lard tin. Okay, then we've got a wooden number seven. This is pink, but if you don't like the pink, you can always uh, paint it a different color. It is new and it is $8. $8 on our seven. And then $8 on our letter K. And this is also new. I do have quite a few letters, not very many vowels. Um, so if you had somebody's initials that you wanted to spell out, you can glue these onto like a big barn uh, board or a door or just hang them up as is. But $8 on our letter K. Okay, then we have this metal uh, scroll piece of architectural salvage. You can see that it has been broken off here, but still pretty. Put it above your door, window, a picture, a mirror. You can just lean it onto something or hammer it onto a crate or something just to, to create some embellishment. And it is $20. So $20 on our metal piece of architectural salvage. And then we have this little lion for $20. It's only half of him. This probably would have been an old um, coin bank and um, the other half is missing, but still a neat piece. And again, you could adhere him to a box or board as well since you only have half of him. So $20 on our lion. Okay, next up we have these Viking handmade made in Japan alcohol proof trays. And they are $3 each and I have three of them. So $9 for these floral trays. So you could use these in your bathroom and put your makeup on it or on the dresser. You could have it in um, the entryway on your front door and put your keys on it. Put it in the sh on a shelf and have it be um, behind something else that you want to kind of accentuate. So that would be another option. Okay, then for $30, we have this old picture um, I would say it is not, um, you know, original, but if you don't like the picture, I would just get rid of that and the frame and mat is beautiful, very three dimensional. And again, if you don't like the gold, you can always paint it. So it is on canvas and you can always paint over the canvas as well. So $30 on our picture. Okay, then this sprig is much larger than the other one. This one is $20. I have bent the stem. Um, so depending on the height of whatever you're going to put it into, you know, you would need to bend it. You'd want probably more in there or spread out the branches on that one. But it's got different kinds of greenery on it, pine cones, some faux feathers, and $20 on this one. And I do have more than one, so um, just comment how many you would like if you like that one. Okay, I am down to two pillows, um, and they are on sale for $35, originally $55. There is just some dirt from being in the shop but the nice thing about these is that there is a zipper and you can just unzip it and take it out and wash it and this is a feather pillow so you can um, wash the cover and then put it back on so they were regular regularly 55 um, and this is 14 by 25 inches. 
Um, and now they're on sale for $35. So we have Do What You Love. And I also have Love What You Do. Love What You Do has a couple spots right here. The other one just has a little bit of discoloring on the bottom from setting on things. So that is why they are on sale. Okay, then we have this Merry Christmas sign for $45. So this was a um, drop leaf table piece that then I painted the Merry and Bright on. And um, you can hang it on the wall, you can lean it up, put it inside, outside, and it is $45. I think it'll stay there, so we're going to leave it. Okay, then we're going to finish up with some ornaments so I can lay them out here in order. These are $5 each. So this one is number one. Number two. Number three. These are a five dollars each. Number four. It's basically like clear glass and then it looks like there's straw in the inside. So I don't know if it's supposed to be in there or not. I just left it. But you could take the end off and dump it out. So this one is number four for five dollars. Then we have this one with the horse and sleigh with the couple in the back. It's gold and five dollars. Probably a little bit hard to see because of the glare. Okay, this one is number six. Number six, five dollars. Number seven, five dollars. Kind of has like indented stars on it. This one is seven. And eight. It's got green and silver, or green and white and pink stripes on the silver bell. This one is eight. This one is nine. It has a house and looks like a ski lift. And it is $5. And then number 10 is a pink bell. is number 10. Number 11. I'm not really sure what this one's supposed to be because it's not an acorn or it's not a pine cone. I mean, it's more dotty. And there is some breaking on the top, top part right under my finger. This one is 11. And then our last one today is 12. And it says Merry Christmas. And this one is hot pink. This one is 12.
And then this is what I had them in, $15 on this green planter. And it is unmarked. But again, great for Christmas. You could put some bows in here. You could fill it with greenery. $15 on our green planter. All right, guys, that brings us to a close.